people are often ready to spend thousands of dollars uh, in cameras or lenses or other accessories. But I think that one of the most underrated aspects of photography has nothing to do with the gear that you're using, but mostly the location. And this is partly why I'm here today uh, in Kawaguchiko, uh, because I had the shoot this morning and now I'm done with it. But I wanted to touch on this subject. A lot of time when I share my pictures on Instagram or YouTube or elsewhere, I get a lot of comments that, wow, what lens did you use? What camera did you use? Um, those shots look really good. But most of the time, it's honestly not about the camera or the lens, but location, like here today. Well, now the Mount Fuji is supposed to be here, but it's gone. But location is one of the aspects that people should be willing to invest way more than they are if they want to get great shots. Now, I like to say that you can't polish a turd. And if you are in a location that from the beginning is not that great and you are trying to get good shots out of it, it's gonna, get, it's gonna be way more difficult than be in a good location and try to do some good things out of it. So location is one of the things that people don't really think about. They grab a camera, they pay tons of, tons of money for it and then they sometimes don't even have budget to go somewhere and experience with this camera. Allocating some budget to explore some locations or just travel and bring your camera with it with you will not only allow you to get better results because you will get pictures that you would not get in normal times but also would allow you to explore and also try different things right. If you're always shooting in the same location it is most likely that you will get some similar kind of results but by exploring new locations by trying new new places new type of environment as well whether it's city whether it's complete landscape etc you get a different kind of point of view and kind of opportunity to explore your lenses your gear and that way you can get the best out of it and exploring a new location doesn't necessarily mean going abroad or going super far from your home. Sometimes it's just, you know, taking a bus or taking a train and trying to go somewhere else to take the kind of shots that you usually take. It's also the part of photography that personally I enjoy the most is discovering new places, discovering new people, exploring those places with them and capturing the shots that you can then bring back home with the new knowledge that you have and the new places that you encountered but it's not only about going to a certain location but also allowing you to take the time to explore that location because oftentimes what I see is people going somewhere and just rushing through a location rushing through a spot because they have a schedule to you know respect which sometimes is understandable but if you really want to focus on photography focus on trying to get better shots with particular location what you have to do is just allow you to take the time to explore some angles explore some um i don't know some foreground aspect with some background etc and if you don't take the time to explore a location explore different angle and different composition in there all you will have at the end of the day just rush shots and basically you won't really learn anything from that location but what does always shooting in the same location do to you well at the end of the day if you always shoot in the same way in the same place you just get comfortable doing the same thing again and again right if you don't get uncomfortable you don't grow if you're st always staying at the same spot doing the same thing again and again I know that some people, of course, if you have to work in a studio, that's something completely different all the time, same location. I completely understand it. But for most people who are trying to learn photography, who are trying to get better at it, if you're always doing the same thing, then you, it, it's a bit complicated to ex expect different results, right? So just get your camera, go somewhere, explore and at worst you will just you know have a nice trip somewhere and you will come back with great memories at best you will learn something better and new about yourself about your camera about your lens
personally, I think that, yeah, one of the best investments that I've made in photography, but also personally in my life, is to travel around, explore places, explore um, different spots. That way I got new perspective, not only in photography, but also as a person. Uh, you get better in both ways, but you also learn a lot um, about yourself, about composition, about new perspective on things and it just is better for you overall, right? I got in the car a little bit because it's really cold out there at the moment. Uh, in Kawaguchiko I think it's like minus one at the moment. But hey, gotta, I gotta do what I tell you to do, which is explore and try to, to get some new locations, right? Even if it's cold, in new weather, etc. But coming back to the location topic, one of the ways that you can actually explore those locations and make sure that you can afford to do that is to either get paid to do it, of course, if you can travel and get paid to do it, that's the best, or allocate a set budget, sacrificing maybe, you know, a night out or a new piece of gears that you want to, to purchase. Instead of purchasing that or instead of going out, just set a bit of money aside every month and try to, you know, go somewhere with it. It depends on your budget, it depends on everyone's capabilities, but I think that to a certain extent, everybody can save some money aside and allocate it to traveling, to exploring, to discovering new places. And that will, in my opinion, 100% make you better at photography because you will develop your eye, you will develop your ears as well, because whenever you travel or you photograph something, an emplacement or location, you need to make sure that all your senses are there, that you can hear, okay, what's happening here, you can exactly see what you want to see depending on the focal length that you want to use. And all of those um, factors put together will overall make you a better photographer, 100 times more than just buying another lens or buying another camera going from APS-C to full frame. That's one of the comments that I often see that most of the time, most people won't see the better image that you're talking about. Most of the time, the location will make for a huge difference in your photography, much more than just a sensor. So yeah, so next time you have extra money to invest in photography, instead of buying the latest gear or latest camera, Maybe try to take a bus, try to take a train, try to just explore your whereabouts and what's around you a little bit more. And that way you'll definitely learn more and you'll definitely get better at taking better shots. Because in my opinion, a lot of times location makes a huge difference in your photography.